This video will explain how to translate universal statements in predicate logic. We will use a symbol, it looks like an upside down A, to stand for all, for the, for the quantifier all, or the, or the quantifier none. So for example, we have the statement, all cats like wearing sweaters. Well, just like with the existential statements, we first need to identify the predicates. So we have the C in cats is in parentheses, so we know that CX stands for X is a cat, and we have the W in the word wearing in parentheses, so we know that we also have the predicate WX, which stands for X likes wearing sweaters. Then, in order to translate that into a universal statement, symbolized statement, well, we first start out with the universal quantifier, and in X, and then we make the first predicate, the predicate that's the subject of the sentence, so in this case the subject of the sentence is cats, we make that the antecedent of a conditional, so we have CX arrow, and then we make the other predicate, the predicate that's saying something about the subject, as the consequent. So this says, for every X, if X is a cat, then X likes wearing sweaters, because all cats like wearing sweaters. However, if we have the statement, no cats like wearing sweaters, well, again, we have the same predicates, CX, X is a cat, WX, X likes wearing sweaters, but now what the sentence is saying is, for every X, if X is a cat, then X doesn't like wearing sweaters, because no cats like wearing sweaters. So what you do when you have a, a statement of the form no SRP is that you take the first part, the part that's the subject, and you make that the antecedent of the conditional, just like you do in the other kinds of, in the all statements. But then what is being said about the subject is going to be a negative statement. It's going to be the denial of the predicate. So you take what is being said about the subject, in this case the fact that they like wearing sweaters, and we negate that. So we get not WX. So again, you just need to pay attention to um, where the negations go. Uh, one thing in particular that you want to not get confused about is to think that the statement no cats like wearing sweaters is the same thing as not all cats like wearing sweaters. The statement, not all cats like wearing sweaters, is the denial of the statement, all cats like wearing sweaters. So it would be translated as, it's false that for every X, if X is a cat, then X likes wearing sweaters. So this statement and this statement are not the same thing. They deny different things. To say that not all cats like wearing sweaters um, leaves open the possibility that there are some cats that like wearing sweaters. Uh, it's just not all of them. Whereas the statement, no cats are wearing sweaters, is saying for every cat you find, they don't like wearing a sweater. There just, there just aren't any cats that like wearing sweaters. So these are different statements, so don't get confused between the two.